All seven of you are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. Seven chickens. Night shift. <sighs> Man. All right, so as we talked about, first things first, I gotta make this. Okay, so let's find this plate steel, get the transfer punch, transfer these holes, cut them out, drill it out, weld it up, and then we can start tearing stuff apart. All right, so I've got this piece here. Uh, the corners got trimmed off a tad, but the holes still line up, or there's still meat around the holes, so I'm really not worried about that. This one is the closest one, but still it's got five other ones, so I'm good with that. Um, so... cut this out i'm going to try mostly with the bandsaw because it's quieter and it doesn't make a mess oh it's not quieter but it doesn't make a mess um and then i'll probably have to cut this section here with a angle grinder <laughs> something I don't do very often at all. I don't think you've ever seen me do it on the channel before. First time. No, not first time for me, but first time on the channel. Squirt gun. Of course. Of course the dang tripod's in the way.
All right, so my little stand thingy works. Works a treat. I have to weld a new nut on here because this nut was stripped out. So now it's good. I can lock it down finally. And so I want to get some towels and sop up all the oil that's in here. So when I flip it over upside down, uh, it's not leaking that much oil. I know it's going to. I already know, so I'm, I'm kind of prepared for that. Um, well, not really, but it will be. So I got this bad Larry flipped upside down. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna clean up because I want everything done right, as right as I can do it. Um, so I'm gonna take a piston out. I'm gonna label it. That four. Okay, sorry. Sorry, off track again. Monkey saw something shiny. Um, I'm gonna take a pistole out and a rod, piston rod, take it out. Put on a blanket of this. Mark with a Sharpie what it is, what cylinder it is. And once everything's laid out, I can put it exactly back where it belongs, uh, each bearing where it belongs, so I don't mess anything up because I'm good at that when it comes to motors. So I wanna do a, a nice, what is it, knolling? They call it when you lay everything out. I don't remember what it is, but I'm gonna do that. Uh, so let me just clean up first. All right, so I got my station all set up. Uh, I know it's already getting messy. I'm sorry. I'll clean this up right now, boss. Okay. Okay, so. I took the rod out that was attached to the broken one, and it's kind of fudged up. And this half of the wrist pin won't come out because the wrist pin broke in half. Weird, huh? So, I won't be surprised if eventually the, something else on the motor lets go. Not these pistons, but if there was that much going on, I hope the, hope this guy's not cracked somewhere. But, okay, bearings seem all right. I'm going to, what am I gonna do? Uh, yeah, so this rod was messed up, you know, 91A, that's what it is. 91A rod. Luckily, I hoard stuff. Look at that. 91A. So I have another one, and the bushings have been replaced. So before I just send this and make sure it's our, like send this and, you know, have it freeze up, I'm going to torque it down. I'll make sure I have some, some movement in here. Uh, cause stuff expands and stuff. So some movement is okay. Like, you know, like that, like that moves around a little bit. As long as it moves around a little bit, I know it's not going to get locked up and everything's going to run smoothly. So that's okay. Um, I should be able to just replace this and send it. And now I'm going to go through and take off the other ones that aren't messed up and uh actually no i'm not i gotta test my uh five thou over pistoles in this one make sure it goes all the way down to the bottom and if it does then i'm gonna un then i'm gonna undo the rest of them and test all of them but i, I really want to check if that fits first even though i gotta take them out anyway i just want to see if it goes all the way down to the bottom
Let me clean this first. Just have to clean it. All right, let's pray for this, because if not, I don't have any pistons. I'm gonna have to drive to tight, dude. It's tight. Yeah, that's too tight. Damn it. All right, well, my other friend, Bill, has a set of pistons standard for dome, just like these. Um, he's a few towns over, so I'm just going to have to take it right to his place tomorrow and grab those. It's Rod's Toast. All these are honed. You can tell this one. No, you can't can't see shit. <clears throat> this one was the first issue, but I knew about it when I got the motor. The gouge in the cylinder wall on each side. And now this baby. Ooh, look at that. Two big grooves. We'll see what happens. That side's fine somehow. Hopefully I can grab them tomorrow. Um, then I can, you know, fix everything up, put it all back in, because uh, Ray was telling me a bunch of shit, like, I'd have to do check clearances on uh, the rings, not that it was a big issue, um, but he was just saying you should check them, because, you know, the block's not bored and you're throwing five over pistons in it, uh, make sure everything's all right, but... Since I'm not doing that anymore, it's standard rings, standard pistons. Um, you know, if it fits, it ships is how I'm going to send it. Yep, back on it tomorrow. 
And I'm probably gonna paint this block black because this white was the worst idea I've ever had. Back at it this morning. Jacob's on his way. Uh, he's picking up some high temp black paint and some degreaser. So we're literally probably gonna spray everything black. This white, it's gotta go. It's too oily. Don't like it. So, yeah, I got pistons from Bill. Thanks again, Bill. Give me a great deal on these. Um, whoops, I got no room. Probably have to go back to Helger's to return his pistons. Uh, but, you know, is what it is. All right, you're getting ready to put rings on this, on these pistons. Got my uh, piston ring squeezer. Um, yeah, got all my bearings, everything here. Motor's ready to go. Uh, I should probably lube up the cylinders a little bit before I do this, but uh, Jacob's starting to paint some stuff. He uh, yeah, he's degreasing it, scotch brightening a little bit, and then we're going to paint everything black because white sucks. Yep. It looks cool for a minute, and then it doesn't. Yeah, then you dry it once. If, if your motor is a leaky one like mine is. Yeah, and we're not going to paint this until I have the pistons in so we can slap the heads on and then tape the heads off, put a crappy intake on, and then paint away because I also need to paint my water pumps. Let's get going on these pistons. I don't have much time here. To
All right, so somehow we got a mongrel. Um, this piston was not the same, and the rings did not compress into there. So we could not get this one in. So you've been messing with uh, rings galore, trying to figure out what the hell was wrong with this thing. It's the ring lands aren't deep enough. So this is junk. I could bring it to a machine shop and have a machine, but I don't have the time frame for that or the patience, mainly the patience.